Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Though tiny, Eric Jacobson's turbine has generated enough electricity to power 40 homes since 1885. We'll learn more at the end of this video. But first, if you plan to live near a stream, why not consider microhydropower? And in today's video, we have the top things you should know. Number one, what is microhydropower? Microhydro is a type of hydroelectric power plant that produces between 500 to 100 kilowatts of electricity using the natural flow of water. Number two, what are the components of a microhydropower plant? Microhydro is actually a relatively simple power generation technique. All you need is a stream or some other body of flowing water and a means of diverting some of that flow to your turbine. You'll then of course need a turbine, pump, or water wheel to create energy and an alternator or generator to turn that energy into electricity, either in the form of AC or DC current. Number three, how do you know if a micro hydropower system is right for you? Well, your property does need to have certain characteristics, but it's not just enough for you to have water. That water has to be able to produce enough energy to supply your needs. The power potential of a river is based on two factors. The head, which is the overall drop in elevation, and flow, which is of course the flow rate of the water. Overall power is head times flow. So ideally you have both. But if you have a very large drop in elevation, you don't need a high flow rate. Or alternatively, if you have a very high flow rate, you don't need that much of a change in elevation. On top of this, you also need to make sure that the economics work out for you. There is an upfront cost associated with hydropower. And you also need to make sure that you're in a jurisdiction that will allow micro hydropower. And finally, depending on the state where you live, it's possible that you will need to obtain water rights before you will be able to divert some of your body of water in order to generate electricity. Number four, what are the advantages of micro hydropower? Well, micro hydropower is very efficient. And unlike other types of renewable energy, it is reliable. It'll flow day or night, or whether the wind is blowing or not. And number five, what are the disadvantages of micro hydropower? Well, as we covered earlier, you do need to have the right site characteristics. You're also not easily able to scale up your energy production as you may be able to with, say, solar. And finally, though micro hydropower is more reliable than, say, wind or solar, you are gonna have periods where you will generate less electricity because the flow rate of the river is less. So that covers some of the basics of micro hydropower. And with that, let's return to the fertile streams of Colorado. Since 1885, Eric Jacobson's turbine has used water from the Uncompahgre River to power approximately 40 homes. It's battered and outdated, and its equipment is a century old, yet it still whirs away day in and day out. As Eric says, it's kicking and screaming as we drag it into the 21st century, but it still works great. The Lurie power plant is much smaller than the large hydroelectric dams that have altered rivers, destroyed ecosystems, and brought power to millions. But it is, in some respects, far more resilient and certainly less damaging to the environment. And for this reason, some people see such plants as the future of electricity in water-rich states like Colorado, which is why the federal government is trying to make it easier to build small hydroelectric plants throughout the U.S. America's Water Infrastructure Act passed a few years ago, lessening the regulatory and permitting hurdles for microhydro. But advocates are pushing to make microhydro development as easy as one phone call. This would open the door for farmers, ranchers, homesteaders, and municipalities to build small-scale plants on existing pipelines, irrigation systems, and streams, potentially generating enough power to feed upwards of 65,000 homes in Colorado alone. The hope is that we can jumpstart a renaissance in distributed hydropower so that it may one day function like rooftop solar with a grassroots network of small-scale power plants throughout the country. But for that to happen, we need a greater number of off-the-shelf modular systems that can be simply plugged in to any existing pipeline. We're not quite there yet, but fortunately, hydropower itself is a very simple technology. 
meaning you can install a micro hydropower system on even a tiny stream with a bit of do-it-yourself tinkering. All you need is a simple intake valve, a turbine, generator, machine shed, and piping. Just check out this one homesteader's hand-built system. And if he can do it, so can you. But what do you think? Do you have any stories about micro hydropower? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? You're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in just seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com slash glad. And while you're at our listing page, don't forget to explore our $1 down properties at gokchecapital.com slash listings. Finally, don't hesitate to reach out. So thank you for listening and more to come.